Hey guys, how's it going? This is Sayoxy with Trianvil Gaming. Today I'm going to be bringing you a League of Legends guide. Now, this guide is going to be a mid lane guide for the reason that we are afraid to go to sleep at night. Vigor, the Tiny Master of Evil. Now this is going to be a pretty basic guide, so we're going to take a quick look at his abilities, masteries, rune setup, and an item build that I use for him. Also at the end, I am going to be throwing in some gameplay footage so you all get a quick look at how he plays. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now first off, let's go ahead and take a look at his abilities. We'll go ahead and start off with his passive, Equilibrium. Vieger's mana regain is increased by 1% for each 1% of mana missing. So this passive really just allows for Vieger to have good mana sustainability. Next is his Q ability, Baleful Strike. Unleashes dark energy at target enemy, dealing magic damage. If a unit is killed, Vieger gains some ability power permanently. So this ability, it does do pretty good damage. But also, as it says, if you kill an enemy, it does continue to stack ability power. Which, if you end up getting fed and get a lot of kills, can end up equaling quite a lot. And then there's his W ability, Dark Matter. Jaeger calls a great mass of dark matter to fall from the sky to the target location, dealing magic damage when it lands. So with this ability, it does do decent damage, does area of effect damage, you select where you want it to go, and then a few seconds later, it will hit that location. Then there's his E ability, Event Horizon. Vieger twists the edges of space around the target location for 3 seconds, stunning enemies who pass through the perimeter. So like it says, you select the area where you want it to go, and it'll set up around the enemy, and if they pass through it, it will stun them. Now this does mean that your enemy can just dance around in the middle and wait for it to go away. So you want to try to place it to where your enemy doesn't have a chance to react. Also since it does place, you can stun multiple enemies, which is always great. And then we have Vieger's ultimate, Primordial Burst. Blast target enemy champion, dealing a large base amount of magic damage, plus 80% of this target's AP. So it is just a straight damage ultimate, it does quite a bit of damage, and as it says it does 80% of the target's AP, so it will do more damage to AP champions. Now one thing about Vieger is his abilities do chain very well together. So if you can get Event Horizon off and stun your enemy, then you can go ahead and place down Dark Matter, and then you can use Baleful Strike. The reason you do Dark Matter first is because it does take a couple seconds to hit, so you want to use it first, that way it'll hit before your enemy comes out of stun. That being said, if you don't hit the stun with Event Horizon, it is hard to hit with Dark Matter, so you may only get Baleful Strike, and you could even get out-traded. So that kind of does suck. Now for his masteries, I have 21 offense and 9 utility. We'll go ahead and start off with his offensive tree. Put 1 point in Double-Edged Sword for a little bit more damage. 4 points in Sorcery for 5% cooldown reduction. 1 point in Butcher for your basic attacks to do a little bit more damage to minions. 1 point in Feast for each time you kill a unit, restores 3 health and 1 mana. 3 points in Mental Force for some more ability power. 1 point in Arcane Mastery for plus 6 ability power. 2 points in Executioner to do a little bit more damage to those low health champions. 3 points in Archmage for some more ability power. 1 point in Arcane Blade for your basic attacks to do a little bit more damage. 3 points in Devastating Strikes for plus 6% armor and magic penetration. And 1 point in Havoc for plus 3% increased damage. Then for the Utility Tree, I got 1 point in Phase Walker for 1 second reduction in your recall time. 3 points in Meditation for some mana regain. 3 points in Summoner's Insight for some cooldown reduction. 1 point in Alchemist to increase the duration of Potion and Elixirs by 10%. And 1 point in Runic Affinity to increase the duration of those buffs. Now for the Rune Setup for Quintessences, I use plus 4.95 Ability Power. Another option you could use is the plus 1.5 movement speed. For Vieger, is kind of slow and doesn't have too much mobility. For Marks, I use plus 0.87 magic penetration. For his seals, I use plus 1 armor. And for his glyphs, I use plus 1.34 magic resist. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the item build that I use for him. Now a standard start, you can go ahead and start off with Doran's Ring. Gives you pretty much everything you need. Some health, ability, power, mana regain. And then you'll also take two health potions and then your rewarding totem. Another option is you can take a charm, three health potions, a mana potion, a stealth ward, and then your warding totem. The option that I like to use though is to get two charms, three health potions, and then your warding totem. I like to get the two charms, that way I can build into Chalice of Harmony as fast as possible, which will allow you to spam your abilities quite often. Whichever option you choose for your first recall, you will go ahead and get Chalice of Harmony, increasing your mana regain as well as giving you some magic resist, and then it's passive increasing mana regain by 1% per 1% of missing mana. Now this, along with your passive, you will be regaining quite a bit of mana. Now for your core items, you're going to go ahead and pick up Deathfire's Grasp. Gives you a good chunk of ability power along with some cooldown reduction. And it's active, which deals 15% of target champion's maximum health and magic damage. And increases all subsequent magic damage taken by the target by 20% for 4 seconds. So not only does it do a good chunk of damage, but it also increases all the magic damage you do for the next 4 seconds to the target by 20%. So usually when you use this, you will use it in the beginning. 
That way all of your other abilities will do more damage. Now I have Sight Stone here. Um, it gives you a little bit of health. I really like it. That way I can ward my lane quite a bit. Just because of Jaeger's lack of mobility. If anyone really does catch you off guard, it's going to be pretty hard to get away. Then there's Zanya's Hourglass. Gives you a good chunk of ability power, along with some armor, and this active stasis, which makes you invulnerable for 2.5 seconds. Now if you are facing an AD, you may want to go ahead and get this as one of your first items. And then for your boots, I usually upgrade into Sorcerer's Shoes for some magic penetration, but depending on the situation, of course, you may get Mercury Treads for some magic resist, or you may need armor as well. Then there's Athene's Unholy Grail. Gives you a good chunk of ability power, magic resist, mana regain, as well as some cooldown reduction. And then it's passive, which restores 15% of maximum mana on kill or assist. And then it's other passive, which carries down from Chalice of Harmony by increasing your mana regain by 1% for every 1% of missing mana. Now for your situational items, if you just want more damage, I have Rabotin's Death Cap, which gives you a good chunk of ability power, as well as it's passive, which even further increases your ability power by 30%. Now if you notice your opponent or enemy team is building up a lot of magic resist, you may want to go ahead and get Void Staff. It gives you a good chunk of ability power, but then it's passive, which allows your magic damage to ignore 35% of the target's magic resist. And then I have Rod of Ages here. It gives you a good chunk of health, mana, and ability power. And then it's passive, which grants plus 20 health, mana, and plus 2 ability power per stack. It will stack up to 10 times with a max of plus 200 health and mana and a max of plus 20 ability power. Now it will stack every minute, so it takes 10 minutes to get it full stack. And then it's other passive, which upon leveling restores 150 health and 200 mana over 8 seconds. Now if you do decide to go with Rod of Ages, this will need to be one of your first items, if not your first. That way you can get the stacks up as soon as possible because it does scale fairly well. Alright guys, so now I got some gameplay footage set up for y'all. Just so you can get a quick look at how he plays and how his abilities work. Hope you enjoy. <laughs>
Alright guys, well that's going to go ahead and do it for this guide. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and like, subscribe, and stay tuned to the channel for some more League of Legends guides. Also, feel free to leave comments below on ways that we can improve these guides. And if not, thanks for watching, and have a good one.